little sugar boogers, welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Not So Very Challenge. <laughs> Okay, so it has been brought to my attention that Miss Ella Lou is not a slew. She's not pregnant. Um, hello there, Mr. Llama Hair. So I guess it's an insult to be able to say or ask someone their due date. I did not know that at all whatsoever. Um, like I said, the Not So Berry Challenge is about doing things you've never done before. Some of y'all get really pressed because I didn't know that. Um, I've never really insulted somebody to the extent of where I could, you know, go and insinuate that hey you bitch you so fat you look pregnant that to me is really insulting but anyways um noelle went into the bathroom for a little pick me up to boost her confidence a little bit i don't remember if we've already ordered or not i think we did order out something but she is hungry so we're gonna go and order again for the table and i also need to lower the volume stat because i am about to uh blow my eardrums out so why are we on a date with our nanny do you ask honestly i have no freaking idea it looks like we've actually ordered already weird okay so we're just kind of waiting for our food i suppose is what's happening anyway we can go ahead and just kind of chat up our little friend here um even if we ended up leaving which is totally fine i don't really have a, like a problem with that but i do think our food should be on the way um what did the pancake family order they ended up getting some fish pie what if we just totally stole his fish pie i'm gonna i'm gonna steal it i'm gonna see if i can take it i totally just jacked his fish pie <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. Oh my god, Noelle. She's feeling... <gasps> oh, karma's a bit... Oh, I forgot. Okay, give it back to him. Give it. Can you put it back on his table? Oh my goodness gracious. I totally ordered lobster thermidor. And I ended up giving her the squirts because we ate. See, that's what you got, Noelle. I forget that she's a vegetarian. <laughs> I seriously forget so bad. I right, well, we're not going to eat whatever's on our plate because she's already going to like throw up everywhere. But again, this is like a dinner date that I thought this guy was going to be paying for. And it just doesn't seem to be working out very well for her. Um, this whole like vegetarian thing is a newfound, um, a newfound adaptation she's taken on in her life. So, you know, I'm just saying like she, she makes a few mistakes and she forgets, you know, she hasn't had um, meat in a while. So, oh, she'll remember. But she didn't actually get sick. So it ended up passing uh, passing through quite nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and end the meal here. I'm pretty much done with this awkward dinner date. I don't understand why we even did this in the first place. And we have not acknowledged scrubs in the slightest. So I'm actually just gonna go and end this little awkwardness because I really don't know. I mean, what if I did woohoo with the nanny? Cause like, seriously, I know somebody's like, you just need to focus on Dustin right now and your career and <laughs> bitch. No, if I want to be a hoochie mama, ain't nobody going to tell me nothing. Like seriously. Um, yes, <laughs> that's the whole purpose of this LP is to do dumb stuff. Somebody even called Noelle a bad mom. Yeah. She kind of gives me Lydia vibes. I'm not going to lie. If you don't know who that is, <sighs> you haven't been around long enough. I'm just gonna say it. Just gonna say it, girl. Just gonna. She does. Uh, I think I've said that like several times. <laughs> My voice sounds so deep. Um, and by the way, I think that's because of the hormones. Like <laughs> it just does. My voice sounds like such a man, such a beast. <gasps> Beauty and the beast. Okay, stop it. All right. So I don't know if he came to walk me home, but I can't take him seriously with this little freaking patchwork sweater and his super duper hairy chest hairs. Um, we could if we wanted, but I don't think we do. So, I mean, we were feeling confident, but we're not feeling that confident. So, uh, I'm not going to invite him to stay the night. <laughs> I do have some sort of standards. Uh, can I just leave him outside? Cool. I'm leaving him outside. All right. So let's go inside. And uh, we are going to go and watch Dustin, I guess, play in the toilet, which just so happens to be like her favorite thing to do in the entire universe. I don't know what it is. Um, she's feeling really sad. So we have to, oh, she has a diaper rash. <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding me? Dude, you guys are so right. Noelle is the worst parent ever. She literally has a freaking diaper rash. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I, oh, oh, hi. 
<laughs> just uh, let yourself in, Mr. Raish, whatever your name is. Uh, I'm going to ask him to leave, though, because his, like, cl his clinginess, his creepiness, it's just, it's starting to overwhelm me a little bit. So what can I do about her diaper rash? Can I just change her diaper and fix the solution or whatever the situation, fix the situation? I'm sorry. Um, comforting her is not going to help the skid marks in her pants. Uh, well, let me see. Toddler care, change diaper. There we go. So somebody asked me why she isn't, like, super rosy. Um, I've tried several times to change her hairstyle, but for some reason my game is just not sticking. Um, I could give her like more of a rosy outfit or whatever, but I'm just going to wait until she's older and see if I can make it a possibility. So we changed her diaper and it still appears to me that she's either stinky, but she's got that green goo coming out of her butt. I really don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to have them both, though, go ahead and go to sleep. I promise we will try to be a little more active <laughs> um, in, 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 in Dustin's life so you guys can really get the full experience of having little Jelly Bean over here growing up. Granted, there is some beautiful piss stains on our hardwood floors, but hey, welcome to mom life. <laughs> How you doing? All right, so it looks like she is woken up and she is going to go wake up Noelle. She also wants to play a tablet game and ask Noelle for food. I do feel pretty bad for Dustin. What does she end up aging? She actually end, uh, ends up aging in three days. So in two more parts, we will have Dustin become a child. We do have enough time to kind of turn things around and make a really good impression in, her, in and on her life. All right, so let's see here. What is she doing? Check toddler. Crying toddler. Of course. <laughs> She's like, will you feed me? Damn it. All right, well, yes, we will. Let's go and put her in the uh, in the high chair over here, and hopefully this will be a successful transaction. I'm, like, speaking. I'm, like, speaking about her kid, like, we're at the freaking bank. Did you feed her cheese crackers for Refix? Are you kidding me? And you're going to eat cookies? Seriously, Noelle. Like, you are literally everyone's spirit animal. Am am animal. Another word I can't pronounce, apparently. <laughs> My God. Animal. Animal, animal, animal. Why is it so hard? I don't really even know. I can't pronounce prefix either. Some of you guys look like are either really cute about it, and you're like, oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Some of you are like ten, you're an illiterate dipshit. <laughs> but I'll take both, okay? Like I'll take all the compliments I can get. I'm just kidding. All right, but no, really, we do need to uh, get ready for work. I do believe we do have um, a shift starting in about five hours. And we are going to load up the dishwasher. How do you guys feel about the eco pack taking the win on the uh, whole like Sims voting thing? How do you guys feel? Um, if you, I know I've had a lot of questions about what I voted for. I personally wanted the romance pack to win because I would really like the um, customization of weddings and just being able to put that personal touch on a super important event in Sims lives. However, I do hope that maybe in equal living, there's like more domesticated stuff. So maybe cars would be included in that pack, but it's a stuff pack. So I don't really know if that would happen, but I really would hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm being very optimistic here. Holy crap. Okay. Dustin has decided that she's going to <laughs> oh, this little girl you are such a demon she has made a literal freaking mess out of her damn tray um noelle is hearing all the commotions and we are gonna have her come out and let's get her uh, let's get her out of this freaking uh high chair stat i seriously feel like the worst parent in the entire universe and we want more we want more no really though we want more children i'm not even kidding all right so i think we have just enough time to go and squeeze in a bath for Dustin because she seriously freaking needs it um, she, after making that big old mess. I mean, I can imagine. So we have a lot of things we need to accomplish. And I think work starts in about four hours. So we still have the time to do so. Um, we start from 10 to 7. So we get home a little bit later. But it does look like we have, you know, had a pretty productive morning. What does she want to do? She wants to make out with scrubs. <laughs> Oh my god. Some of you really like him. Some of you feel like it's forced. I think we're just going to invite him over because it's a, a want that she, you know, has in her. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me, Dustin? We just seriously gave her a bath and now she's in the toilet. Whatever. You know what? I'm just going to let her do what she needs to do. I'm just going to let her do it because I don't even care. All right. So let's think about this here. I'm going to see if he wants to come over for a little bit of fun since we do need some, you know, a little bit of romance in our lives. Um, all right. Looks like he will be right over and look at Dustin. Look at her shaking her little freaking tushy, her little groove thing. <laughs> she is the cutest 
flipping toddler ever. I love her so much. Like seriously, can we just, can we just please? <gasps> Her eyes are pink. Does that count? I know. I was like totally unexpected. Oh, hi. Hello there. You're wearing your gloves. You're ready. Locked and freaking loaded. Uh, let's go and give him a kiss. We also need to pay the bills. The bills are 2,600 and some odd simoleons. And I do have a custom content mailbox. I really like this one, by the way. It's really cute. And I think it fits the house, actually. All right, so she is going to go and uh, apparently look for scrubs out on the porch when he is just, okay, there we go. All right, <laughs> this is pretty romantic. Making out with a doctor on the porch. We're going to go and pay the bills next. You know, it's all about priorities uh, Priorities here, people. Um, now, I do think we should be able to finally make out with him uh we are going to make out in the closet god we are seriously mother of the damn year i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> so many things we fit into this morning all right so let's go make out with scrubs i do need to focus on our oh he didn't want to do that mm -mm. he was not down but he'll take a hug oh my god i think we just got friend zoned <laughs> i'm not even kidding I seriously do think we just got friend zoned. I think that's exactly what we're going to do too. We are just going to ask to be just friends. Um, what is he doing? Is he hiding in the closet? Oh my God, he just came out of the closet. That's that's really okay. Uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm going to try to be friends with him. Why does he always come over and like spend time with my daughter? Like, I don't need you to be my daughter's like daddy figure, especially cause you know, whatever. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go and ask him to just be friends. Like I said, I was going to do it. I'm cutting the ties. You guys are absolutely right. We need to focus more on our job. Maybe if we do get pregnant, that's totally fine. Um, yes, I want alien babies and vampire babies. Those are all things that are definitely on the agenda. Um, we have a ton of things that we can sell. We seriously need to go through this inventory like stat. All right, uh, let me go see if I can play a game. I'm going to do a little Sims Forever just to kind of get my fun up because I know work starts in about like 10 minutes. And I don't want to go in with a really bad taste of my mouth. So let's go ahead and join. And today I think we're going to do something very mischievous. We are going to start a fire at our job. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I am going to try to light one of our coworkers on fire. Um, I know Anita was one of the Sims that, you know, essentially ditched us. But Anita also that night decided to be kind and try to make it up to us by inviting us out to the romance festival. So that's why I don't have it out for her because she actually cares a little bit. Whereas this snitcheroo doesn't. All right. Wait. No, it wasn't Jude. I always get her so freaking confused. It's the other one. Who's this guy? We have a new co-worker, and his name is Kaled, like DJ Kaled, and uh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> maybe the threats were coming through the line, and uh, she quit. All right, so here's Anita, and she is looking super duper pregnant. She, I'm surprised she hasn't had her baby yet. We are going to give her a heartfelt compliment, and then I also want to change... Um, Noelle's lab coat into something a little more fitting and I think I figured out the way to do that So we're gonna we're gonna go about that in just a moment. I'm gonna ask her to feel the baby I'm gonna gossip about some co-workers and I am going to um, What else do I have to do invent the summary? Why do we always have to do the exact same thing time after freaking time? So apparently I'm supposed to be gossiping with Anisio. He's one of the sims. I don't really like so much because of the whole you know thing I guess that went down but uh, I guess we could go ahead and do that a little bit later I'm not gonna do it right now I'm not really all that worried about it so now to change her outfit I'm gonna go into MC commander mod I think it was under MC Cass I can't exactly remember where it was but I do believe it was Modify career outfit. Okay, so if all goes to plan, which I'm hoping that it does, never does in my LPs, everything just pretty much goes down the drain, we are going to be able to give her a very fresh to death um, type of, you know, career choice, outfit, whatever. Okay, outfit category, we are going to do career, and I do believe her fancy dancy lab coat will be right there. All right, so since she's a mint sim, 
The other one kind of already works, but I feel like this one will definitely give her the minty vibe. And bada bing, bada boom, that should be all that we need to do to be able to have her kind of stand out from the crowd because Noelle is not a basic business as we know. Um, next, we need to find one of our coworkers. We need to attempt to trap them and uh, light them on fire. It looked like it worked, yay! Is this it? This is it, right? Yeah, it is. It just looks like every other lab coat though. Um, I'm gonna have her go and use the restroom really freaking quick, awesome. Um, our vegetables and fruits are doing fantastic. Oh, where is Ella? Okay, wait, here she is. Oh, is this her? <gasps> Ella Lou. Okay, I thought we didn't like her. Well, we don't now. All right, so let's go over here. Um, I am seriously going to do this, and I don't care what anyone says. I am going to, I don't know how I'm going to catch her on fire, though. Like, how is this going to even be possible? Like, to just light her up. Can I, can I edit this? Ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry I am seriously not even playing with y'all you think I'm kidding but I'm not you know what this is the one thing you don't do you don't piss off Noelle Tinsley because she has a really bad habit to get right back at it all right so we're gonna come over here while Ella's distracted and we are going to light um two of these mortars I think that's what they're called I don't know I don't only really have one here Oh, it's a spark fountain. That's not going to do anything. Shoot. Oh, my God. I didn't think this one through either. <laughs> okay. Do we have another one? Uh, Roman candle. I don't know if this will start a fire. Okay. Let's try this one. All right. So we've got that, and I think this should work. Otherwise, we might have to do something a little bit different. All right. So let's have her go over here, and we are going to light up this um, firework. I'm not even playing you. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. oh shoot, you're gonna bring yourself too. Oh my god, get out of here. Get out of here, you, you, you freaking. You're killing all your employees. Get out of here. What are you doing? Oh my god, this is not exactly how I envisioned this happening. She needs to get out. Get out. Oh my freaking god. We did end up catching her on fire though. <laughs> Well, oh my god, we ended up singeing Mrs. Ella Lou. Unfortunately, the fire has spread and nobody will end up dying. Darn it! <sighs> I thought we were gonna end up killing all of the co workers. I'm not even joking. All right, so I need to go and extinguish the freaking fire with, um, which we call it the freeze dry. You know, we can just sit there and pretend like hypothetically, you know, oopsie doopsie, the equipment caught fire. I think it would have been a really good excuse. But we're gonna try to like freeze dry everything. <laughs> I'm freaking, it's not working. All right, so we ended up actually uh, pretty much pretty much destroying our, our entire workplace. I was hoping that that was going to work. Everybody got in here. And, uh, you know, I mean, for the most part, it looked like it kind of did. All right, so we got to replace this stuff, and it doesn't cost anything. So I will definitely attempt to do this a little bit later on. All right, so let's go and focus in on our job. Where did Ella end up going to, actually? Did she quit? I seriously would have after this. Like, nobody knows that it was her. Come on. Where did she go? All right, so this dude here, he caught on fire, and so did Ella, but nothing actually became of it. All right, so I guess what I'm going to do is invent the damn Simray yet again and try to actually put it in an effective work day. Woo! False alarm, guys. Everybody thought. <laughs> I thought I was going to end up killing everyone, but I didn't. Damn. Now that I know it works, though... First attempt on the whole murder train didn't work, but I will definitely be back with a second round to trust and believe. Is that Ella? That is Ella. Okay, so next time, maybe what I can do is freeze her in place and then try. I don't know if it'll end up working. Um, but she seems to be doing quite well. Everybody ended up taking a shower. We're all good now. <laughs> Okay, well, all right, so we ended up inventing the Simray. I'm actually going to sell this one uh, because we don't need these, as you guys know already. I pretty much sell everything that I invent. And then uh, let me go and see. Experiment on the chemistry lab. We do this all the time as well. It's kind of boring. I'm like waiting for something a little more exciting to take place. Let's come over and invent on the... Uh, <laughs> Or experiment on the chemistry lab. I'm sorry. I'm like getting all sorts of like blah, congested. I don't know what it is, but apparently that's a thing with pregnancy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, I was really hopeful that that was actually going to help. Okay. Uh, who is this guy? 
This is Kale. Okay, I'm, I'm mad at him. He's a new employee, so he has nothing to do with anything that has gone down. All right, so we have now successfully done that. And you see, was actually trying to talk to us, which is very, very ballsy of him. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to gossip about coworkers, since that is something we are supposed to do, apparently. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. We have a pretty decent relationship with him. And we need to analyze DNA sample. All right, so I'm going to do that over here. I think I may be able to do that. Um, Calvin Montoya's DNA. Let's go ahead and now and analyze that. That's perfect. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can figure out what went wrong, essentially. I don't know. She has a really angry heart. I'm going to be honest with you. So probably what we're going to do is just start making enemies through our workforce, and then we'll end up actually... No, because then people are going to know it was us. See, I don't know what to do. I know who has discovered, oh, she knows all the traits. So we know all the dirty secrets about Mr. Montoya. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get in and yeah, anything else that finished. I would actually try to ask Anita for a medal um, since I was one of the requirements for the day. We did definitely not. We did definitely not. We definitely did not do what we were supposed to do, nor did we actually focus on things we were originally intending on. But, you know, I mean, it was a fun day. I actually was pretty excited about the whole thing. So we should be able to go home end of shift 346. So I kind of almost want to age up Dustin, but I'm not going to do it in this part. Maybe the next part, like when she only has like two more days to age up or whatever the heck. Um, and then... I don't know. I don't really know where to go from here. I'm just kind of just going with the seat of my pants. A few of you said about having Noel settle down, and then I try, and then it just doesn't work out. But I definitely think playing the field and just kind of having fun with it is a lot more important. And Dustin, even though we went for a whole work day, she's still getting her little groove on, dancing her colito off, whatever. But I think uh, we are in need of some serious R and R. So I am going to come inside. And actually, I'm just going to get rid of scrubs there. Um, she wants to tell a story to Dustin Rose. Well, I'm going to try to have her take a quick little nap, a couple Zs. And she's going to get up and read a little bit of a story to Mrs. Dustin. And we need to work on, um, actually, not a lot. I mean, we are due for a promotion. We've had our eight breakthroughs. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom on through a little bit. I can't get you out of my mind. Do you want to go on a date and get some dinner at Le Blanc? Are you freaking kidding me? So Mr. Montoya still wants to have a relationship with us even though he's married? What? Maybe we should expose the snake. I'm so serious. That's very, very, very interesting. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not like one to, you know, disrupt marriages or anything. Who am I kidding? What kind of LP is this? We are going to actually invite him over. Uh, you and I haven't really gotten along, but oh my god, why does everybody want to go to LeBlanc? Well, I definitely don't think LeBlanc is the place to go I'm telling I'm telling Mr. Montoya this because what if his husband ends up discovering him for whatever reason he's in this relationship with Don but he's still very interested in being um with Noel I'm very confused this is some serious damn drama right here I'm gonna be 100% honest with you so maybe we will invite him in what do you guys think this is very odd uh he's actually gonna spend some time with Dustin because we all know Noelle isn't and she's getting a little bit hungry so let's go have her kind of cook up a little bit of dinner we're gonna have her make something that isn't going to give her the craps I'm gonna do uh, a garden salad let's play it safe garden salad gotcha all right cool and look at this oh I want to spend some time with him I really want their relationship to be perfect sometimes I want to get rid of him <laughs> Because he pisses me off. And the fact that he's still trying to get with Noelle. It's like, are you freaking joking me? Are you serious right now? Uh, she wants to ask Noelle to wrestle. She wants to listen to some music. She's really kind of becoming the little the little music player. What, where, where do you think you're going, bud? Um, he's actually leaving or he's going on a jog. <laughs> he is like sprinting home. I think maybe Dawn asked where he was. That's very odd. Okay, anyway, uh, she's going to go and finish up her salad. I thought for sure. Maybe he's like, um, this might be a setup. I don't know. It's, I was going to, I was going to woohoo with him. For else, I was going to, I was going to expose the snake. Jeez, I'm not playing like that. Like, you are not going to, what do you have there? Oh my God, you're so cute. Look at her playing with her gato. Oh, I love it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, 
I'm totally okay with whatever the situation is. But like I said, I really do kind of want her to age up. Like, I really, really do. Because I just feel like, you know, we suck so bad. Oh, of course. Caleb's... <gasps> Babies with a vampire. Oh my god. Okay, so like seriously, did the sim gods just, I don't know, answer my prayers? All we need to do is get this guy's DNA. We don't even have to like go and shindig with him. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> when mom when mom brings home a guy, all you need to do is <laughs> rip off the pamper. Oh my god, look at this dude. Look at Noelle's face, the queen of sass. Like, seriously, can we just? I love this child. Like, she is my unicorn and my everything. I think this pretty much sums up this LP and like a freaking instant so Noelle's totally giving me the side eye right now and Dustin well she's giving me an eye full and Caleb has just come over this freaking LP couldn't get any more damn random than it already is all right well I need to be able to ask him for his DNA so I'm gonna have to go and kind of juice him up a little bit I am being way too nice with too many sims we need more freaking enemies I know I'm aware trust me um but one of my goals was to get DNA from a vampire, so why not, you know? We're going to tell a funny story. We're also going to... Oh, just kidding. Apparently, we're not going to do anything else because um, she is going to go and take a nap. But at least we know Caleb. Why does everybody have, like, this obsession with Noelle's closet? Like, I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Dusty has just reached the level four of the movement level. Um, and Mr. Montoya is here. Oh, my God. I thought he left. Okay, I guess he didn't. All right, well, Noelle's going to go, and she's just going to take a couple more Zs. I'm probably going to have her sleep in for the night. Um, I swear to you guys, this is like the like pit stop house. I don't know. There's like so many dudes coming in and out of here. Y'all can judge me if you want. Um, one of my favorite things in The Sims is romance, so I like to play with it a lot. I think that's kind of unobvious. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. It was completely freaking random as per usual. You can let me know how sick and twisted I am in the comments down below. And then you can also let me know if we should make a second attempt on Ella Lou's life. My goal is to wipe out every single one of our coworkers. Um... I'm just kind of distracted by what's going on over here. Yeah, so my goal is to wipe out every single one of her coworkers except Anita. So y'all can let me know how we can ex execute that successfully because, bish, we need to clean house. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to all of my craziness. Well, don't forget to go and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.